Now, sports with Garrett Brown. Welcome back. Grand Junction Jackalopes and Colorado Rockies. Both were looking to shake off losses in the first games of their respective road series. First, let's check in on the Rockies. They'd be over in Cincinnati taking on the Reds. Rockies will get on the board first in this one. Sam Hilliard gets his first homer of the season in this A.B. That would bring in Nolan Jones to score as well as the Rocks infield or outfielders rather doing some damage in this one. But the real drama that would come all the way in the ninth inning and we'll skip to that now. The Rockies entered leading by four runs, but the Reds strung together a rally tying run on second there for the dangerous Ellie De La Cruz. But the Colorado Southpaw Jalen Beeks gets De La Cruz to hit one on the ground. Good play there by Tovar at short to beat out the speedy red infielder and that's the ball game. Rockies win and survive the late Cincinnati rally at a final of six to five. As for the Jackalopes over on the road taking on over on the road in Windsor, taking on the Northern Colorado Owls. Despite a five-run first, the Jacks, they couldn't keep it going. And a big five-run eighth inning by the Owls helped them once again power past Grand Junction at a final of 13-6. Jackalope still looking for their first series win of the year. And now to get that, they're going to have to win the next four games in a row if they want a series win against the Owls, which will be a streak hotter for the Jackalopes than the weather we've been having on the Western Slope recently, as the Jacks are yet to record more than two consecutive wins in a row at any point this season. Well, we're getting closer and closer to the Summer Olympic Games kicking off, so it only felt right to catch up with a local track and field star who's trying to make the jump to the Olympic level before hurtling into the next chapter of his athletic career. Athlete of the Week, sponsored by the Law Office of Chadwick McGrady. Miller Jones is Grand Junction through and through. A Grand Junction High track and field alum turned CMU Maverick, and he got the experience of a lifetime to compete at the biggest stage at the Olympic Trials over in Oregon. I mean, it's... It's an unmatched experience. We're on the uh, the track in Oregon and Eugene, and it's it's unbelievable. I mean, the people there, the surroundings. It's, I mean, it's that that world stage, that uh, that biggest stage that you're gonna feel in America. And Jones said he carried the pride of representing the Western Slope with him on a stage with the most elite track and field athletes the country has to offer. I'm from a small town. I'm from a small community, and I mean, it's huge to be on that big stage representing my community, and that's big to me. Oh, Scotty Vines, he was also there, and he's from, like, our local community, and that was super cool, like, representing, I mean, what, what we've been growing up in, what surrounds us, especially for me, just, I don't know, just being thankful in every moment for what I've been given and being there. But the stage in Oregon was unlike anything the athlete that set the state triple jump record back in his days as a Grand Junction Tiger said he had ever seen. It's one of those stages that you, you can't prepare yourself for 100% mentally. It was just different. It was just different than it's been all season. Jones left Eugene without the result he wanted, despite a strong showing. I was short of where I wanted to be. Um, didn't quite reach the distance that I wanted. Got to the side, talked to the coach. And it was, it was like, okay, here's what we need to fix. Let's fix it. On the next jump, it didn't connect. I was like, okay, it's fine. Like, it's just the second jump. We get six. I knew on my first jump I was going to make it to finals. I mean, I jumped far enough. I was definitely in the finals. And, like, I, I thought I already had it. You know that feeling I'm talking about where you think you're, you're like, oh, I made it. Or, like, oh, I'll be fine, like, on this last one. And – I was like a little bit too comfortable and I didn't quite bring it all and I didn't make the USA team and came up a little bit short. I got fourth. And I mean, it, like I like we were talking about earlier, that's an experience. Like coming out there competing on that stage, that's the only place you're going to get that that big field secluded from everyone feel. Now he's looking to continue his athletic career and begin a new chapter in his journey, even if that takes him away from the Grand Valley. So I committed to Louisville and Kentucky. They're an ACC school. They're Power Five. I'm super excited to continue on there and keep building on what I'm doing. And it's just keep training, but I'm going to finally leave Grand Junction. A little yeah. weird. And it, it's a great feeling to know that my community is still supporting me, even though I'm not going to be around. And that, that definitely is a weird feel. I mean, I've been around this community in person for so long, and I'm still here right now. So, like, I'm still getting that support. And it I know they'll continue to support going down the road, and, like, everyone will be around. And that'll do it for your look at sports. We'll be right back.